And quite frankly, bodega owners are not really united on this. Unsure if stores like the one behind me should be able to sell recreational marijuana one day. The group that spoke out today actually wants to see a state law banning the practice, but they certainly do not speak for everyone. We're concerned about our family, our, uh, about our children. The Bodega Association of the United States, which represents 5,000 different bodegas, says recreational marijuana should not be sold in their stores. Kalad Ashef runs a bodega in Washington Heights that's frequented by families and children. What we sell represents the community, and we shouldn't sell marijuana because that is promoting it to the kids. But even his customers aren't quite sure why they shouldn't one day just be able to buy some pot along with everything else. If it's legalized, you walk in the store just like you buy cigarettes and beer, it's the same thing. Marijuana is uh, less harmful than alcohol, but there's a liquor store right here and no one's in an uproar, but their children might have access and it could possibly cause death. And the push to ban weed in bodegas comes less than a month after a separate group of bodega owners rallied in the Bronx in favor of allowing marijuana sales in their stores. They see it as a social justice issue, bringing business to areas historically targeted for marijuana arrests. Black and Hispanics, have paid the price, you know what? Let's now make the profits and share the profits. Councilman Udonis Rodriguez says he agrees that communities of color should certainly benefit from recreational marijuana sales, but says just not at the bodegas. They are not right now thinking about profits, who will take advantage of the profits. They're thinking about the family, the safety, the children. Some bodega owners have also expressed safety concerns about selling marijuana one day in their stores. Bodegas are already disproportionately targeted by criminals more than many other city businesses. Live on the Lower East Side, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News. All right, Henry, thank you.